One of the reasons I love Xiaomi products is because Xiaomi makes it so easy to unlock the bootloader and load custom ROMs and software and whatever you want to on your device. Hey, my name is Mitchell. If you're new to my channel, I make videos about the tech I use, things like cell phones, tablets, cameras, and drones. And if you're looking to pick up a Pocophone F1, a Mi Pad 4S, or maybe the Mi Air Dots, I have affiliate links to GearBest, AliExpress, Banggood, and Amazon in the description down below. And I use that money from those affiliate links to buy more tech and more things to review. So if you use one of my affiliate links, let me know in the comment section down below. Tell me a product that you wanna see me buy and I would be happy to do a review if I get enough people that are interested in a product to take user-generated content. On top of that, I have a Telegram group as well as a Telegram channel that I'll link in the description down below. Come join the conversation with us over there. We talk about Xiaomi products and other tech. So the first thing that you need to know before unlocking your bootloader is that you're going to be compromising the security of your device. And that's because by unlocking the bootloader, if you lose it, the thief or whoever recovers it can completely wipe the device, take your firmware off of it and reload their own firmware if they know how to do that. Something that a locked bootloader restricts against. So if security is a big concern of yours, if recovering a device if when it's lost is a big concern to yours, think twice. The second thing you need to know before unlocking your bootloader and loading custom ROMs is you might take a hit in hardware optimization. And what I mean by that is when people talk about Apple's closed ecosystem, the fact that they are a manufacturer making their own hardware and their own software for that hardware, that the experience is gonna be better. The Android device manufacturers, to some extent, get to hardware optimize their software and they get to add features or add things that could give you better battery life, better standby time, and a better overall user experience. And when you unlock the bootloader and load custom ROMs, you are potentially going to compromise that user experience as well as that hardware optimization. So on my Pocophone F1, I've actually been seeing slightly worse battery life with the Lineage OS ROM versus my stock Xiaomi EU base ROM. If that's gonna be a concern of yours, you might wanna stick with either a stock base ROM, if you're running a Xiaomi device, there's the Xiaomi EU ROMs, which are great, or leaving your device stock. Third and final thing you're gonna to wanna to consider before unlocking your bootloader is stability. And this is something that doesn't apply to all ROMs, and all devices, but applies to enough of them that I need to talk about it. And that is when you are loading community-based software or software that the community has developed, there is going to be a lack of testing and you're gonna have more bugs, you're gonna have more random crashes, and you're going to have an overall less, uh, not necessarily less enjoyable user experience, but a less stable one. And this isn't going to affect all ROMs and all devices, and I know there's gonna to be tons of people that hate on it in the comments down below. But if you just want your device to work, no matter what, I would suggest either sticking with an OEM type of ROM, like the Xiaomi EU ROM, or leaving your device stock and not unlocking the bootloader. Okay, if you guys liked the video, go ahead, give it a like. If you loved it, think about subscribing. If you, if you hated it, let me know why in the comment section down below. And until next time, guys, it's been Mitchell coming to you from Hanoi, Vietnam. Peace.